hi welcome now i'm going to show you how to create a line charts in a single cell okay so what i have is the number of customers and their um, sales for each month okay about uh, six months okay from january to june i have i want to place a, a trend line here to find out how the customer is performing okay so what i'm going to do is i am going to use uh, insert there is something called spark lines okay in the spark lines we have a line chart okay what are the spark lines spark lines are mini charts placed in single cells each representing a row of data in our selection okay so it's a row of data in our selection it is going to place a mini chart here okay these mini charts are not objects like our usual charts it is um, they are like a background for this cell okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to place a uh, line spark line here okay so how can i do that click so my data range is for this customer this row okay january february march april may and june what is my location this is my location okay so i just this is the data that you want this is the data range okay and uh, choose where you want this park line to be placed in the location this location uh, press ok you can see here for this data it plays a line chart here which is nothing but the trend ok so this line chart it shows that how the performance is doing ok probably i will drag and drop you can see in the next uh, the customer works it is uh, from the third month onwards it's going down okay at one glance itself you can say what is the performance of each uh, customer given the data it adds more value and uh, visualizing the data more effectively okay okay now uh, we placed it for only for two customers uh, okay now i am going to place it for all the records in the data set okay how can i do that okay go to the insert line now the data range is going to be my whole set okay okay then where do i want to place it this is also because this is all the set of records 278 records then this one also these park lines to be placed also in a set okay which is in h column from here to 278 okay so this is my range so once i press ok you see for each uh, row for each customer it already played uh, showing the line charts okay so you can see uh, some of the line charts are going up and down some of them going up okay and uh, this uh, customer regcgc is more interesting it's going up okay so these line charts are very helpful to identify what is the trend going on okay so i just put trend okay so now these line charts also have the properties uh, you can click on the the spark line charts and go there in the design you can see uh, different types of style is there you can choose over what design you want what color you want what is the style you like it probably i'll choose red okay and also you also have uh, you can um, uh, you can uh, highlight what is the higher point you can see the high points or low points lower points and also negative points if you have any and the first point and the last point and also markers markers are the values okay so you can select any of them okay and uh, you select markers all the values are highlighted these points you can also change uh, color for uh, each point high point what is the color low point first point 
negative points all the points and uh, you can cosmetic uh, do some cosmetics on the chart okay and also you want to edit the data range you can edit okay now i am not editing anything uh, okay okay for each chart we also have the axis okay for horizontal axis options we have a general axis type which is we already have it in the uh, chart and uh, date axis type if the axis is, is uh, date okay but um, for the date it also show you if the dates are uh, very far away it gives the gap okay so if we have the dates you can use the date axis and uh, then show axis show axis will help helpful when you have a negative values for example you have this one is the negative value you can see this show axis then you will show will show you the axis if any negative value is present it will show the axis okay then uh, you also have the chart design you can see the axis uh, plot data right to left you want to see the instead of uh, seeing from the history to the current if you want to plant it plot to see that from the current value to the history historical values then you can use the uh, plot data from right to left it is more like a, a mirror image of the graph okay then you also have the odd vertical axis options which is uh, minimum options automatic uh, for each spark line because the the spark lines are the line charts are different in different scale of vertical axis because some of them are very close to zero some of them in a lower points some of them in higher points okay some of them uh, go from uh, fluctuate from lower to the higher according to that it uh, draws the line chart if you want to make it uh, for your own customized uh, value for minimum and maximum values you can do it for your axis for uh, automatic for each spark line you can make it for uh, automatic then it will automatically select from the lower point to the higher point so uh, it not necessarily the axis is here axis may be any very down or axis may be very high okay so we must be very careful when we are uh, selecting the axis for example in this case the axis uh, this lower points are 400 and 800 okay B but in this case it is minus 486 so the the axis lower points and uh, higher points you want you can make it to your custom value if not you can leave it for the uh, spark line to calculate uh, automatically okay or you can also fix it for same for all spark lines in case you want to uh how uh, to say you want to compare the uh, trends between the cus uh, customers for example you you want to compare it from the chart to chart you can do the uh, fix it for same fix it for all of them same for all spark lines so it will show you for example you can see these values near to the axis whereas this is the axis and the value there is a gap okay so they are in higher level but whereas this one is very it, it crosses the axis where this one is very closer to the axis okay this kind of comparisons you can make it using the uh, same for all spark lines similarly for the maximum value also you can make it a same so that you can compare very easily okay if you don't want to compare you want a individual uh, trend uh, then you use the automatic for each spark line okay so this is what the trend uh, line charts are available to place it on a single cell okay and also one more thing you uh, you want to notice is that uh, these are all not objects they are uh, background for these cells so uh, you can what you can do you can very well type anything here I put uh, the uh, for example good uh, 
performance okay enter you can see the chart as well as the good performance is there so you can uh, you can type uh, remorse or any value here in the cell value it is in the background and also if you change any value it will automatically the 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 graph will be updated on the spot okay okay this is the line charts available using the spark lines and i uh, hope uh, this video is helpful to you uh, to start up with uh, putting some line charts and trends on your uh, uh, row wise single cells and uh, if you have uh, any comments or suggestions you can place it uh, in the comments and also if you like my videos please uh, subscribe to my channel as well as uh, uh, leave your likes also okay and god bless you